right, guys, welcome back to Pure Evil MMA. And boy, do I have another very special guest for us here today. A familiar face, a very pretty face, by the way, too. We got Crystal Bear Lawson joining us, who has an upcoming fight for Lion Fights overseas in France. Uh, we're going to be talking about her upcoming fight. We're going to be reminiscing about, you know, what's been going on in her life uh, last time we talked. Uh, we were talking about her daughter and prom, and we have a lot to discuss here. So, Crystal, <laughs> how are you doing today? Good, good. I'm uh, actually looking for matching socks so I can uh, go to the gym, <laughs> uh, which is a task in itself. Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, without a doubt, I mean, daily I wear socks that are mismatched to the point where I kind of made it like a style now. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, I don't normally wear socks because I'm always barefoot when I'm training, but if I'm running, obviously I need to wear socks. Oh, I have a trick so it's like a real struggle. I have a trick. Yeah. All right, so uh, since I have the same issue, I've, I've learned this trick that you have to get themed socks. Like, if you have a favorite show or a cartoon, Ooh. like, go to Walmart or Spencer or something like that, and you get like a package of socks with all your favorite characters. Like I, right, for instance, I picked up uh, yesterday, I picked up Sonic the Hedgehog socks and within it, there's like 10 pairs of socks, but with all different characters, but at least they're somewhat similar. You know what I mean? At least they go together if they're mismatched. You know what I mean? Yeah, I like it. This is a good idea. <laughs> it's just a thought. It's, it's just a little thought, but let's catch, up. let's catch up with you. I mean, uh, where are you right now? doing this interview obviously you're not training what are you what are you doing right now um i'm in my house i'm gonna go train after um you and then right after that i get ready to get to work but um i'm in uh basically charlotte right now and then uh, i go back to atlanta on the first on the first of june or the first week of june rather so you are training with your gym uh uh jim jimmo right I'm training with Jimmo, but I'm also a spending majority of my camp with Team Manu in Atlanta, um, which uh, was, uh, I don't know if they're still considered Madhouse, but yeah, it's Team Manu, um, so he's a coach out there, and uh, Manu is actually from France, so um, that's been a cool experience getting to work with him and a good team out there, so I'm, I'm, I'm loving it out there. Well, for anyone that doesn't know, you actually train with some elite fighters. We spoke about it before in our last interview, and you guys can totally check that out on MyMMAnews.com, but you, you, you train along Justine Kish, uh, who recently had a, a fight. Uh, how, how's she doing? Um, she's been injured. She has uh, been training with us right now because um, she has been injured. Uh, I think she's just kind of catching me up on some other stuff, letting her uh, knee heal up and everything like that. I think she's actually getting better, but I think she may be out in Cali right now. Um, so I'm training with a couple of other people uh Mainly there, uh, Diego working with my clinch, Mark, and then uh, my coach, Jeff. And then, uh, obviously, there's several good guys out in Atlanta at my news. So I'm getting a really good, uh, different, uh, two different aspects and combinations of people. And it's turned out to be a really, really good thing. So I know that, you know, this is Muay Thai. And for anyone out there that doesn't mm -hmm. know, Muay Thai, you know, it's, it's standing up. There's no takedowns or anything like that. But since you train with, you know, some of these MMA fighters, do you practice, you know, uh, jujitsu and, and wrestling and stuff like that? Or do you just, you know, stay away? This is just Muay Thai, especially for this camp. This is just Muay Thai. So I, I, yes, I was doing that, but when I took this fight, um, my intention was that I was just going to keep doing that. But since my training, my workload is so, was so heavy right now. Um, I really just don't have time to put any effort towards anything except for things that are going towards the Muay Thai. So right now it's all Thai related and I've taken a break from everything else. And, and you know what? I give you so much credit because you're also a mother. I mean, you're so young, but yet you're a yeah. mother. And, and to top it all off, to, to, to really blow everyone's minds out there, uh, your daughter actually just had prom. I mean, she's... she's yeah, she's graduating net, uh in uh, like 11 days on the 9th of June. So you, you kind of gave us the backstory of how your daughter was asked to prom, but why don't you remind everybody and then let us know how prom went. How, how did your daughter get asked to prom? Um, so he made a poster with a uh, different, like a compilation of all these different Harry Styles songs. And he took the poster to school and like had it ready for her outside of class. Um, so it was, it was really, really cute, but, um, oh. yeah, so they came over and took pictures and it looked awesome. 
and they had a great time and this little guy's so nice we went to the i had to go get like i was grilling yesterday after training and uh which um, he loves he also likes to go uh, training with me so that's cool um but uh um, we went to the grocery store and he'll like carry the groceries for me or i was like oh i need to get gas and he's like oh do you want me to pump it and i'm like uh, you know what i'm about you little guy <laughs> but he's cool he's a cool dude it sounds like he's trying to hook up with you now <laughs> <laughs> no way he's just really nice and he has he just has really really good manners like one of my best friends uh mark had came over yesterday and uh he rode out with us and um like i said that he just he's such a nice little guy yeah, I know that, I'm calling the little guy, but here's this. He heard the last one, and I talked about his earring, and I was like, is there anything you don't want me to say about you tomorrow? <laughs> and I just, every time, it, I just, it, it's just whatever. I have a big mouth. I can't help it. So, so <laughs> how did how did she enjoy prom? She loved it. She had the best time ever. Um, now she's, like I said, it's literally on to graduation now and, like, getting ready for college stuff. So it's just, it's basically like non-stop going but like i said they have 11 more days of school and uh she's just ready to kind of she's saving up to get a roommate and kind of do her own thing and um so i'm gonna be wild and free obviously you know i'll still be here for her but uh you know but this actually her graduating and doing all this is happening at a good time she'll be super busy and i'll be spending a lot of time in atlanta getting ready for the fight and stuff so it's going to work out um well so this upcoming fight is against a girl by the name of fanny ramos now since the last time we talked have you learned anything new about your opponent um not particularly i mean you know my coach has watched her and uh we kind of know exactly what she's gonna do i mean obviously not exactly everybody changes but you know we know what she's gonna do and we have a game plan going in and we're just getting me ready and I'll be in the best shape possible. I'll be, uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be good. So listen, unfortunately, the people who are, are listening to the podcast cannot see the video, but there's a picture that keeps popping up of you uh, and all of your tattoos. Now, something that people yeah. should know is that you were actually uh, in Ink Magazine for, for, uh, yeah. for, uh, for a month or whatever. Um, how did you get into Ink Magazine? How did, like, how did they uh, find you? Um, well, I, uh, you know, I had put my stuff in like a long time ago. And then I didn't really think anything about it. And then I had seen my name tag on something on Facebook one day because they didn't let me know or anything. And I had seen my name tag on Facebook with all these views. And then I go to their site and I was like, oh, the, you're in there. And I'm like, oh, man, that's awesome. Um, so, yeah, I guess. Yeah, I really don't know. I just got in there. <laughs> Which is awesome because, I, you know, I'm, I'm all about that magazine. And you have yeah. a lot of great tattoos, uh, Japanese-style tattoos. Did you get a new one? Um, I didn't get a new one, but I did get, a, like, so so randomly, there was this, like, inked beauty pageant, right? And I was like, whatever. I think they had sent me a message. I was like, let me fill this stuff. I didn't even do it right because I honestly, like, didn't even think I would have a shot at doing it. So it was just a fine, whatever, I'll just fill this stuff out. You had to write an essay and stuff. I didn't even do this thing properly. And they were doing like live calls the other day of who the finalists were. And so I get a call at like 10 at night. I'm like, look at this weird number. And it was the it was like this radio show. And they're like, oh, well, you're one of the finalists. So, <laughs> so now I'm doing the, uh, it's the, only tattoo beauty pageant in the United States, I guess. Wow. Um, and I, I think that's like in maybe uh, October. It's Miss East World, I believe. That, that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. That's exciting too. Um, you know, for everybody that's watching or, or, or listening, what tattoos you have? You have the Bird of Paradise. Um, um, yeah, which have? I just watched National Geographic about him the other day, and there's so many, and they're so cute. Um, but yeah, I have a bird of paradise who's also um, a phoenix. So we like combined. I have a small piece tiger. I have some sparrows, some flowers. I have a new, um, which is a part. He, his, his tail is a snake. His body is part uh, monkey, part uh, tiger, part lion. 
I have the Kitsune, which is the nine tail fox who gets all his powers after he gets his nine tails. And basically, he can do everything, like he can morph and stuff. Well, why, why are you so like into well, where, where, where does this interest come from? Like the Japanese art, where, where does that you know start with you? Um, you know, I've always been really into like samurai stuff and things like that, and like Bushido and those types of things. And uh, I have like all the Japanese masks at home. And um, <laughs> the artwork I always liked was Japanese. And like I said, I love the culture, I love the, everything about it. But I have that one particular artist who's Dave Fox, and I got his book, and it was haunted. And once I started reading about all the like Japanese folklore, like I just like I became obsessed with it, and I was like, that's what I wanted all my tattoos to be were those um, characters. And obviously, like some of them are very ugly uh, in the book, but it, everything is kind of left up to my ideas with it and like my artist interpretations. And then um, you know we put it together and then create whatever it is. One more time, what was the artist's name? Because I definitely want to look him up. His name is Dave Fox. Ah, Fox in there. Um, but um, then the name of the book is Haunted, the one that I have. And I think he may have another one. But, um, yeah, I just, I really like the way his art look, work looks. And it describes, like, all the all the characters and, like, what the myths are behind them. And um, I don't know, it's just super intriguing. So with this upcoming fight, um, you know, ha ha have you seen a reaction from our last interview? Because you were, you were like, did I say anything wrong? Was was I being <laughs> a little mean to the people out in France? Uh, you know, have you have you seen a reaction from anyone, or has anyone reached oh, out? No, not at all. Um, and that's what I said. I was like, oh god, I was like, basically, I just say whatever comes to my mind. Um, <laughs> I don't always like think about it, but um, no, like everybody's been super cool and. Uh, super nice and i don't think anybody took anything negatively and um no every no i've been treated very well by everyone so so with lion fight uh when they approached you did you sign a one fight contract two fight, how long can we expect you to be under this uh promotion i'm pretty sure i'm going to be with them uh for quite a while i this is for one fight because it is um overseas obviously but when I originally got the call, it was that, hey, like, this is what we're going to do. And then after this, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much, I don't have exact, I don't know exactly what's happening next, but I'll definitely do a lion fight. Well, the thing is, like, when I was at the last lion fight event, you know, I was doing the, the weigh-in show or whatever and covering doing interviews, Scott approached me and, uh, you know, he was like, hey, we got Crystal here. The interpretation that I got, the vibe that I got was they're really trying to push you to to be the new female face for uh, for at least the light flyweight division over there for, for Lion Fight. That's, and, you know, that's what I'm kind of hoping. I'm trying to, like, um, you know, I feel like that's where it's going. I have a great relationship with uh, both the spots and with everyone that I've dealt with. And I feel like, yeah, I feel like that's, where this is going to go is it will be me, me being with them long term. And, you know, I feel like if I don't have fights, like I told Scott the other day, I was like, I want to be with you guys in some capacity. Like if it's, if you have a show coming up and you don't have a fight, like I want to do something for you, like something for the company so that I'm, you know, still involved. So yes. I definitely do think that that's a thing for sure. Crystal, boom, right there. You're on point. You're on point right there. That's what you have to do. Uh, you know, yeah. I, I've seen it with like, you know, even Paul Felder when he got signed to the UFC. People were excited to watch him fight, but, you know, before the fights or, or in between fights, he was always, you know, doing media or, you know, doing commentating uh, in front of Absolutely. cameras no matter what. So it's very smart that you know that this this is what I need to do to, you know, be, be known. Yeah, you know it's what? like I want to work for them, but I also, my my goal is, um, yeah, I bartend. I don't want to do that for, like, I want to do what I love. I don't want to open a gym. But I, I do something like this, like Muay Thai, I love so much. So working with Lion Bank makes so much sense for me and like doing different things for them. So I feel like this could end up being just like a, a huge opportunity and some really good things are going to come of it. And uh, I'm definitely looking forward to it. Well, one, you're beautiful. So that helps. Number two, you talk very smooth. And number three, they have Flow Combat who's going to be filming, uh, mm -hmm. filming with them. I would love to see you, uh, you know, commentate for 
for a female fight or, or stand in or something like that. I think that's a perfect role for you. Well, and... that's what I was telling them, like, um, cause you know, like the, they have the glory girl who does all that stuff. And yeah. one of my friends actually showed her to me, uh, Miss Jits or whatever, I think so, <laughs> her Instagram, but I was like, I, I definitely like see myself doing something like that. And, um, I think that'd be really cool. So our fingers are crossed for this upcoming fight and me and you were kind of discussing the date. So like we just said, it's going to be on flow combat, but I believe it is the 21st of yeah. May, correct? July. Of, of July. It is May. <laughs> we already um, missed the fight, Crystal. It's too late. It's we missed over. The it went really good. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell the two Scots that we missed the fight. But, yeah, so it's going to be on the 21st of July. Um, what day are you going to be flying out? Um, that's what me and Manu were talking about the other day. I believe we're going to fly out around the 16th, so it's not like we're just getting off the plane and, yeah. and going right to the thing. So I think we'll probably fly out that Monday or Tuesday. And then, like I said, the fight's on Saturday. We kind of have everything planned out about what day we'll cut weight what they will do this and that um obviously media and stuff like that but um as far as i know that flyer uh tuesday yeah it's genius to go a little bit earlier because you you, you can't plan anything in this in this life i mean i was speaking with uh, ufc's jillian robertson yesterday and she was like you know man i am stuck at the airport because my my plane had a three-hour delay and when i got to you know philadelphia now i've missed my next flight so, you know, that could throw a game plan off. That could, you know, ruin your whole mindset. Oh, um, yeah. So going early is a, a, a good idea on your part, especially a, a different country. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, I mean, it just makes sense. Uh, um, and then I know, like, I think we're going to land in Paris, and then we have maybe, I think, like an hour flight to actual Samoans. So um, it'll be a little bit of a process to it. So I don't remember if I asked you this question, but as we get towards the end of our interview, um, I, I do want to ask, have you ever been over to France before? I've never been to France, no. Never been. So what's the one thing that you're looking forward to going over? Is it the Eiffel Tower or, or, or what is it? Um, I can't. I kind of am excited about the Eiffel Tower. I'm excited about the pyramid. Um, I want to see the Champs-Élysées because I learned that song in school. Um, I will not sing that for you because I'm a really bad singer. Oh. Um, but <laughs> but um, that's one of the few things I remember from my French class. So <laughs> I think it will be good. Crystal, last but not least, uh, once again, pictures are coming up during your slideshow. And people are probably like, what the hell am I looking at? So it's a picture of you <laughs> from Halloween, all blacked out. You're supposed to be the black, the black swan. swan. <laughs> well, what, what's up with that? You just painted your body all out. Like, did people know you were the black swan? Or were you just like, what is this lady doing? <laughs> um, yeah, so it was obviously body paint. But um, a, a few people were unsure because I can't remember who I was the day before that. I had also done body paint the day before where I was uh, in a frost. So I painted myself a her and it was like white glitter paint. I don't know if I have a picture of that one. Um, but yeah, I did the black swan because I just that everyone does the same stuff or they're like a kitty cat or something. So I want them to be something different. Yeah, is that off the movie, the black swan, the movie? The movie? Um, yeah, yeah. There's a book in the movie, I believe. Am I thinking of the right like thing the with the ballerina dancer, right? Yeah, it's super epic. Yeah, her mom's like domineering and ends up, you know, the girls. I don't want to ruin it for anybody, but the, yeah, that's a great movie. It's a really good movie, yeah. Who's in that? There's a couple of famous roles in that. I can't remember. Um, Mila Kunitz, who is so pretty. Um, and then the main character was um, uh, Emily Portman. Portman? Natalie Portman? She did such a good job in that role. Yeah, she did. And first off, last question about this. Did you do all that makeup? Did you just rub yourself down with black paint or... <laughs> no, I had a I had a girlfriend at work do it. <laughs> she actually like had to like take a, a paintbrush. You have to do like a pre spray, and then you do the brush, and then you have to let that dry, and then you have to like go over it several times, obviously, so you can't see through it. Yeah. Um, so so yeah. <laughs> Crystal, thank you so much. I always have a blast talking with you. It doesn't even feel like an interview. It just feels like I'm catching up with a new friend. And uh, I'm really looking forward to, you know, watching your career blossom over here at Lion Fight. 
And I want to thank you so much for joining me once again here on Pure Evil MMA. Before we let you go, though, it would be wrong if I didn't ask you, what can everybody expect when they tune in to watch you fight? Um, first of all, everybody can expect me to represent the USA really well. I'm going out here um, with full intention to bring home a win. I'm training my ass off, and I know everybody says that, but I'm working super hard. We are going in here with I plan to come out with nothing but a win on this situation. This will be a, it may not be a pretty fight, but it is going to be a fight that is going to draw attention to everybody who said, oh, you're only getting this opportunity because you're pretty or because of this, because of that. I'm about to shut a lot of people's mouths on that situation. I love it, Crystal. I cannot wait. And being under the Lion Fight promotion, when you got people like Joe Rogan talking about it, it's huge. And I really wish you the best. It, it would be awesome to see you go in there, get the victory, and bring it back home to America. So you got all of us rooting for you, Crystal. And yeah, we're, we're wishing both you and your opponent best of skill for that night for an amazing performance on both ends. Absolutely. Crystal, thank you so much once again, and have a great day. All right, thank you so much. Bye now. Bye. There you go, guys. Crystal. Bear Lawson. Make sure you follow her on Twitter and Instagram at Ty Box Bear. That's T H A I B O X B E A R. Guys, oh my God. I mean, this week has been epic. We've interviewed so many great fighters. There are so many amazing fights coming up, whether it's UFC, Bellator, CES, reality fighting, lion fights. I mean, the summer is stacked. If you're a true fight fan, you got to be at the edge of your seat. And excited for every one of these fights, including Dana White's Tuesday Night Contender Series. Now, for anybody that is not familiar with Lion Fight, oh, well, you do know Valentina Shevchenko in the UFC. Well, her sister Antonina fights for Lion Fight. And a matter of fact, she just got her shot after winning her last fight. Dana White approached her and says, you know what? Let's get you on Dana White's Tuesday Night Contender Series. So that is going down. Nolan King has all the information for you on Twitter. So check out his Twitter page. I think it's at MMA underscore Kings. I'm not 100% sure, but just go check Nolan's page out. And you can get all the latest MMA news at MyMMAnews.com. Guys, I'm Yves Letty from Pure Evil MMA, MyMMAnews.com. Have a great day. Have a great week. Catch the Ultimate Fighter Season 27 recap with me and Ted Check. That is now up on podcasts, uh, form, and video at Pure Evil MMA. Find all the latest period of MMA content at MyMMAnews.com. Subscribe below, guys. White knuckles to the end. Give yourselves.